Hi, I'm Patrick Wolf, and I'm going to talk about some everyday objects. It's you who puts me in the magic position, darling. Now you put me in the magic position to live, to learn, to love. Ugh, Link, that was disgusting. It's kind of like real, like. Rugby player is kind of deodorant, isn't it? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, it's horrible. It's like it's like it smells like trainers. It's disgusting. Yeah. It looks quite it's... perverted. I'd be scared to run into this on the street, definitely. But uh, uh, I I find I don't know if stuffed toys, um, you know. There's a time and place for them, and um, I don't really feel feel that right holding one now. I don't know. I've never had one. I'm not that kind of person. Kind of just I, I open bottles with my teeth normally. Actually, I know. I won't have any left in a couple of years. Like in in Hackney, I got um, um, mugged at knife point, and um, and they had a, a, one of these. Swiss Army knife? Yeah, Swiss Army knife, yeah. Oh, Swiss Army knife, I'm yeah. to hear that. They, they stole my favourite coat. They stole and my coat? They stole my coat and my wallet and my, and my phone, but um, it was funny. Oh, I just cut myself. Oh, I feel really bad for giving you a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> I made you cut yourself in that <laughs> traumatic fashion. It's, it's not traumatic, I actually wrote a good song about it. <laughs> I'm Brini. <laughs> I, this reminds me, I was in a group called Maison Criminal and uh, we used to, we didn't, we lived on about 30 quid a week and we were like a kind of noise punk rock band and I was like 17 and we used to make our own, own clothes and just turn up to shows and get thrown out and Lambrini was our drink of choice, you'd buy, like you can buy bigger bottles than this, I'd have one, one each, no I was 17 so, <laughs> <laughs> I've moved up, I'm onto the carver now I think. <laughs> <laughs> Aspen, I fell off the stage in Dublin when I was supporting Arcade Fire. I was wearing very big platform shoes. So I saw the staircase and didn't realise that my shoes weren't tied very properly. So I was singing the song Tristan, like, my name is Tristan, I am alive. And then when I sang I am alive, I fell off. And, um, but I kept on singing and holding on the microphone, but I had a really bad bruised rib um, and like pulled muscle for about two weeks. So I was lots of aspirin and codeine. <laughs> I love Marmite, and, yeah. and I, I sometimes do Marmite um, drink. Do you ever do that? No. Okay, it's the next level. You take like a spoon of Marmite and uh, boiling hot water, and uh, you drink it as if you would like tea. It's like Marmite tea. Okay. It's really nice. And that's it, just hot water? Yeah, it's very nutritious during the winter. Yeah, good for your voice. Why? Because um, it tastes nice. <laughs> <laughs> moved into a new flat so I'm living like in a, in a room full of like 24 boxes and then um, the the water's still broken um, my flat flooded during a tour so um so there's no water in the flat and um, there's like just mounds and mounds of, of CDs and records and instruments everywhere so this makes me feel like I, I, I need to quit touring and go go be a housewife <laughs> Yeah, these are the three different rock covers um, taken by Gerard Mankiewicz, who's a really amazing, famous, legendary photographer who, oh look, you can see my ble bleeding finger. I wrote a song when I was 16 called A Boy Like Me. It was about riding a giraffe, one day be, uh, being able to ride a giraffe, because giraffe is what my spiritual animal. Like I relate most to it being very tall and liking the colour yellow. So anyway, uh, this is kind of like my dream come true. So like I got to age 23 and I was able to ride to draw.